I'm in the kitchen. Well, I'm in Gizzy Erskine's kitchen. I'm a little bit overexcited. We're gonna be cooking one of my delicious, very fresh and super quick salads. It's got roasted radishes in, which I am slightly obsessed with at the moment. It's just one of those ones that you can get to it onto a dinner table in 20 minutes. First things first, we've got our asparagus and our radishes that we're gonna ch uh, just literally chuck whole onto a roasting tray, drizzle with olive oil and a pinch of salt and some fennel seeds. You can mandolin the fennel. If you squeeze some lemon on the top, it will stop it going that brown colour, so it stops it oxidising. I love that you have me doing all the dangerous jobs, like mandolining, yeah. chopping up beetroot. Well, it's not very often. I have like a top chef that's helping me <laughs> chop. These are going to go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how big your radish is, uh, at about 180. I'm going to create this really nice little toasted um, seed to go over the top of the salad. I've got some cumin seeds, some coriander seeds, some sesame seeds in as well, roasted off a little bit. So a little trick with the old pomegranate, cut it in half and with a wooden spoon, smack its bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop in some parsley and mint. Okay, so you can hear there's no fuss about this dish. This is literally just chucking everything in and kind of getting your hands dirty. Just for Gizzy, a nice big pinch of salt. Yay! <laughs> but Himalayan, obviously. So I've got some brown rice vinegar. Literally, you're just gonna put some of that in there. Nice pinch of pepper in here as well. So I'm gonna put a good glug of olive oil in. The, the whole zest of a lemon, you think, in here? Yeah, that's great. And you can put a little bit of salt in there as well. I'm actually going to allow her to get salty. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to ask you to do is really finely chop some parsley to put into there as well. I'm going to put some lemon in, just a little bit, and then some pomegranate molasses. If you haven't got this, put a little bit of maybe date syrup in it just for the sweetness. Oh, oh my God, have you just... Yeah. Gizzy. Do you know what? I always tell my friend, my the people I teach, not the people that teach me, to keep their <laughs> fingers away. And Gizzy sliced her finger off. So um, when you do this at home, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, please. We've so got a finely chopped uh, parsley. Very finely chopped. Maybe some of my finger going in there too. So oh, asparagus oh. is beautifully done. Oh, look at those. Oh, look at those colours. Look how beautiful they are. So cute. I'm going to pile this on. Oh, God. oh, it's really fresh, it's really, but still cooked. Mm. Still feels like pure like summer on a plate. It's absolutely delicious, wow. It does look like summer on a plate, doesn't mm. it? Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos with me and Giz in the kitchen and head over to the website honestlyotherfood.com for the recipe and also the blog post and pictures on us cooking today. And also check out Giz's book because it's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. do that. See you later. <laughs>